Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I have another fruit episode for you and I'm gonna be talking all about the star apple. And the star apple is an interesting uh, tropical fruit and it comes in purple color or a lot of times it'll be all green. See, this one has a little bit of green there, um, but the, another variety can be all green around it. And they are native to the greater Antilles and West Indies, but are grown all over the world. And they are very common in Central America, Southeast Asia, particularly, par particularly the Philippines. I remember seeing them in the Philippines when I lived there many years ago in the late 1990s. They are grown here in the United States in Hawaii and Florida mainly, but they are fairly easy to grow. So as long as it doesn't get colder than like 35, 40 degrees um, where you live, and for the most part on average, and then if it gets pretty warm, then you have a good chance of being able to grow these or if you have a greenhouse. Um, so places like here in Arizona, or in um, Texas and the southern parts of the United States, like I mentioned, Florida, are good places to grow these, at least here in the United States. But like I mentioned, they are grown all over the world, um, tropical, subtropical areas. And they go by a variety of names. Star apple is a very common name. Another name is like milk fruit, purple plum, satin leaf, star plum, and they are a member of the sapote family. So they're closely related to like the mame sapote, uh, the black sapote, and uh, the other sapotes. I do have a mame sapote that, um, that I will be doing. I have those ripening on my counter right now. So I'll be doing a video on those uh, later, which I'm excited for. I picked these up at the local Asian supermarket. They're very expensive, they're nine 99 a pound So it was like 20 something dollars for this because it was a little shy of it was a little over two pounds So each one of these is like five dollars a piece <laughs> That's really expensive especially because you can find these growing everywhere um, like on the side of the road in the Philippines, but um, I Saw them there. And I'm like, oh, I got to get these because I haven't had these in forever It's been a long time since I've had these and one thing I want to mention is this is one fruit that grows well from seed. Like it'll start bearing fruit within five years after growing it from seed. But you can also buy the propagated um, varieties where they graft it onto rootstock and or they root, they root branches. Um, and those will bear fruit within one to two years, which is pretty cool. An interesting thing about them is it has a milky like latex in it. If you've ever picked like a fig and watched a white ooze come out of the top, it's like a latex substance. And this has latex in its skin, which is common among some tro tropical fruits. Um, the jackfruit that I showed on here on my show, that has some latex in it as well. So it gets kind of sticky. How do you tell when it's ripe? Well, it's gonna be soft, like a soft, kind of like a plum, and um, it won't be super shiny. It'll be a little bit more dull, and there'll be a little bit of wrinkles on there. So this one right here is about there. It might I could probably let it go another day or two, but I'm gonna eat it right now. And these will store pretty well in the refrigerator for a couple weeks. So you can buy like four of them five of them, eight of them, however many you want, and you can um, keep them in the fridge and they, that'll slow the ripening process. Um, otherwise, they'll ripen faster on the counter. Some health benefits. These are loaded in um, nutrients. They are high in vitamin C, good source for calcium, phosphorus, and some people have used it to help soothe sore throats and they are rich in antioxidants. And a lot of times when you buy these, at least here in the United States, we get them. This, was, um, sh this is a product of the US. Most likely it came from Florida. And um, they will become, they'll come wrapped. This one is wrapped in a 
paper, and then also with this little mesh. It's like a styrofoam mesh surrounding it, and that protects the fruit when shipping, and it helps to pre prevent bruises. So a lot of times, a lot of tropical fruits will have this on there. Not all of them, but a lot of times they will. And so to eat it, the reason why it's called a star apple, it's not an apple at all. It's not part of the apple family. Um, but when you cut into it um, horizontally this way, it, there's a star pattern on the inside. And you don't eat the skin. And so I'm just gonna cut around this. Very easy to cut into. And you'll feel the seeds as you're cutting into it. And we'll just pull that apart. Yeah. And you can totally see that star pattern right there. You see that? And take this little part right here. Oh yeah. It's got a milky, slimy jelly texture to it. And I'm like, I'd leave that there. <laughs> awesome. And you can see like, you can even see some of the latex part on the skin here. And there will be less of that as it gets more ripe. Even though this is pretty soft and ripe, it could go a little, a little bit riper, but it's still gonna be really good as is. But you definitely don't wanna eat the skin and you don't eat the seeds. And there's several seeds in there. This one has five seeds. I'm gonna save those and maybe try to sprout them and then plant them in my parents' backyard. <laughs> uh, and so you can see, see that star pattern and definitely the texture on the outside um, pushing it is definitely more like a plum than an apple. And so I think star plum is a better name for it. And that's why it's called the star apple. And then, like I said, so the skin, you go in about a quarter inch or so, that's not edible. And you can eat this stuff on the insides. Hmm. Hmm. So good. And usually you'll just kind of use a spoon and dig it out. Hmm. Yummy. Yeah, it's. The, the taste is really, and you'll be able to tell when you can stop digging into that side of the fruit because it doesn't give anymore and it's not as soft and the color will be different. And it's hard to kind of describe, like I said, taste is subjective, very sweet. Very soft, but not super sweet. Um, I've heard some description of kind of a little bit of a sweet and condensed milk. That's a good description, like a watered down sweet and condensed milk mixed with blueberry maybe a little bit. The, the texture is jelly-like-ish almost, or like a light fruity pudding, <laughs> something like that maybe. So unfortunately, the seeds and all that stuff on the outside is not edible, and so you can compost that. Um, so you don't really get a lot of the fruit, it's like, only a third of the fruit you actually eat. So as far as the cost to benefit goes, you may not want to try it because it's pretty expensive here in the United States. But if you live in India, 
or the Philippines or whatnot, you probably eat these a lot and they're really cheap or you can get them for free. Just pick them off the tree on the side of the road. Um, so just a really neat fruit. That is the star apple. There might, be a, there might be a hint of an apple flavor in there. A little bit of a lychee flavor in there as well and texture. So maybe a good way to describe it is sweetened condensed milk with a tropical fruity flavor mixed with blueberry and lychee. And you have the taste of a star apple. <laughs> um, drop a comment down below and let me know if you've tried the star apple and what you think um, it tastes like. Also, what you call it where you live. Um, like I mentioned, there's several different names for it. And you can see why it might be called the milk fruit because of the white substance in there that tastes kind of like sweetened condensed milk. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to eat a little bit more of it. There's a little bit left in this one. I'm going to make sure I get all of that out. Mm, so good.